It's Pablo's Rap of the Week. This week we caught up with Shelley Craft, co-host of The Block, to discuss what new things are coming to the series. The new element to the show is the buyer's advocate jury. So no, not just the designers coming through, giving their advice and their constructive criticism to the, uh, to the contestants, but we've got a team of buyer's advocates who have buyers waiting in the re- wings, ready for auction day, But they're going to turn up every week and, you know, again, give the contestants a little bit of advice about what they think they should be doing and what they have done right or wrong in a room and what's going to impress the buyers on auction day, which is really what the show's all about. Uh, We can't wait to see it. Most people do one renovation and they say, that's enough. You guys are on your 10th series. I can't believe it. You're still going. We're all mad. We're all mad, (laughs) Pablo. There's no question about that. (laughs) We also caught up with comedian and author Xavier Toby, who wrote a book on the FIFO lifestyle and I put my foot in it. Your first book for people that are that don't know about it basically uh, you're a comedian yeah I'm not going to put words in your mouth but you fell into a bit of financial trouble and you thought a quick... oh well no it's okay <laughs> I, I I made some very poor business decisions and then compounded that, those by drinking way too much and <laughs> maxing out a bunch of credit cards that's exactly what happened so it's okay <laughs> All right, well I'm happy to put words in your mouth then Yeah. (laughs) We also spoke to professional triathlete this week, Rebecca Hosky, about how I can train myself up to run a half marathon. You know, progressively increase your miles each week with your program. A bit of a rule of thumb, a 10% increase in each week is a nice steady progressive increase because it's important not to get injured either. Is 1% Um, acceptable? 1%. Um, Yeah, look, I think everybody's um, individual, you know, it depends very much on people's lifestyle and career and, you know, family and and friends and and those are all those sort of other aspects to people's lives. And if 1%, you know, is is manageable, then for sure. And lastly, it appears Xavier Toby never wants to see his own book again. So I'll be asking people to bring in like a couple of samples of some, some work that they really appreciate from their favourite authors or comedians or whatever. Yeah, and we'll just have a chat about it. If you do want to get on Xavier's good side, uh, taking his own, taking your book. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, probably not. No? You know, probably not. (laughs) Because when you write a book, you look at it so often, you know, like with the redrafting and stuff like that. (laughs) True. Yeah, you'll be like, I don't want to look at that again. (laughs) I I want you to, don't don't get me wrong. I want other people to, but I don't want to look at it again.